Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. I thought today we would do a quick end of May garden tour. It is early morning, the last day of May, and there's kind of a sad state of affairs here, but still there's some things growing. I don't have that entire half over here planted. Um, I will be putting watermelons in here and cucumbers and some other things on those trellises, but they're not in the ground yet. I know I'm not the only person who has had some issues with weather either being too rainy, including lightning storms and wind and things. And then in addition to that, when the rain goes away, the ground is just crazy mucky and you can't really work in it. So the days out here in the garden have been few and far between, but we do have some things that I brought you along to plant in previous videos. And some of those things are now adjusting and starting to grow. The tomatoes over here are doing fairly well. I have lost a couple during storms, but most of those I have had replacements for because I always seed too many. I don't have, um, one of the ones I lost was a persimmon tomato, which was experimental. I don't have a replacement for that one. I did start a new seed. I'm not sure it'll be ready in time. I lost one or two Amish paste. I also had replacements for those and a harvest moon, which was also experimental this year. I had replacements for those. This is my row of beef steaks and momotoros. These are the ones that I plant every year. And the first half is beef steaks. The second half is momotoros. Oh, just lost a beef steak, it looks like. And the momotoros. The momotoros are doing better right now. The beef steaks are still adjusting to their new space. This is the experimental row. This is a brown sugar, the great white tomato. The marmalade skies is adjusting well. That's another Marmalade Skies. This one's just called a Delicious Tomato. That's new to me this year. It's doing well, I've got two of those. Big Red Tomato is still adjusting, both of those. On the next row, this is a Harvest Moon, the one I had to replace. I just popped that in the ground yesterday. Another Harvest Moon that was already doing here and it's doing well. The Great White right here is doing well. This is where I lost the persimmon tomato. If I don't get it, a new one in time, I will just let it have extra space, which will give the other tomatoes room to breathe. And then here's where I started the Amish paste. This row of Amish paste is doing really well. And then this row on the outside is doing pretty well. And then I start having problems. <laughs> they're still alive, but they're struggling. They're just not adjusting as well on the second half of that row, the inside half, and then the last row of Amish paste. The weather has been really hard, even when they were in pots. That one's doing well. I might actually have to fertilize this year. I don't normally do that, but I do believe in using the tools you have when you need them. So over here in the, this is the, this is the arch. No, this is the last row. This is the last row of paste tomatoes that are experimental. So super sauce. These couple right here are San Marzano and a Juliet right here. I ended up not planting my room as I think. Okay, and then this arch here is the small tomatoes. Hi, cheeky babies. I'll be moving their fence soon. Planting corn in that square. Planting those two boxes that I need to finish weeding. But here we have the small red cherry, a couple of those doing okay. This is an Artemis F1. The sugar lump cherry, orange peruche. And this is a Jasper F1 cherry, it's just a red cherry. This is a super sweet 100 red cherry tomato, jelly bean, a jelly bean hybrid, two of those. I have high hopes for those. A honeycomb and another orange peruche, I believe. I don't have a label on that one, but I'm pretty sure it's an orange peruche. I would say the most exciting thing today is that the onions that I thought were just going to kind of die have actually perked up pretty quickly and come back to life and started to put on new growth. They don't have a whole lot of extra green 
leaves, which the mana green leaves is indicative of the layers to the onion. So they, these may not be huge onions with lots of layers to them. We'll find out, but I will have onions. The potatoes are starting to pop up here in this row. The first ones to pop up were actually the middle ones right here, the um, Burbank russets. My huckleberry golds down at the end have not yet broken ground, but just a day or two ago, I noticed that the Sarpo Mira, those were small red potatoes, they are starting to come up. The um, peppers I have down the middle row are doing well. I did have to replace actually two. Um, I'm not sure what happened. They were just mowed off at the top. I'm not sure if something's eating them. And I just noticed this morning there is a pepper missing, a pimento that was there yesterday. I'm going to probably need to bring out my trail camera and see what's getting to the peppers. I'm not used to anything. Most animals don't like peppers or leaves at least. They might eat the fruit, but they don't eat the leaves. So um, that's new to me. I'm going to have to research that and see what's going on there. Back here on the trellis, I do have the smaller tomatoes. Those are all doing well and filling in. Hi, cheeky babies. Most of the back half in the raised beds is still a mess. Um, I will be planting corn past that arch right there. Hopefully this week it's time to get it in the ground. I'm going to clean out some of the comfrey I have back here and um, dehydrate leaves and pull some of those out and put green beans in here, bush beans this year. And then I'm going to take you down over to the half of the raised beds that are cleaned out and planted. Okay, out here in the raised beds, this almost half is planted. I have one more long bed that's falling apart that I'm being delicate with that is not planted yet. I'm still weeding it. It's very overgrown. So um, right here I planted hot peppers, which I did not intend to do all in one bed, um, but and partly because last year I planted them here. I didn't want to put them in the same place twice, but I did realize that the bed I was going to put them in on the other side, besides not being ready yet, is also in the shade a little more during the day than I thought it was, so I wanted, they need full sun. So I have a variety of hot peppers here. We have Anaheim's, jalapenos, uh, what are these? I'm trying, I tried a couple different seed companies to see if the jalapenos would do anything different on their own. So I have some jalapenos across here, some cayenne and some Tabasco and sugar rush peach. I have far too many extra peppers. I've got a couple flats of extra peppers sitting over there. I don't know why I always seed too many peppers and I just wanted to, I, I want to get them all on the ground, but I really had to ask myself, what do I actually need? I do a bunch of Anaheim's because I, I can all of our own green chilies and tomatoes at green chilies like homemade Rotel. So I need a lot of Anaheim's, but I think six, seven, six plants is enough because they're very prolific. And I'm trying to remind myself of that and not freak out because I can't get the other like five Anaheim's planted. I'm trying to leave this big strip on the side open for pumpkins in a few weeks. Uh, cayenne, I'm and Tabasco, I just, I wanted to make my own dried cayenne powder this year and I wanted to try my own Tabasco sauce, homemade Tabasco sauce this year. The Sugar Rush Peach, I usually plant way more. I make a hot sauce with those two, but I decided, you know, they're very, very prolific. I really don't need the amount of plants that I made. So I only planted, I think, three of those. Um, I did pop in some Kilimanjaro marigolds, at least one in each box except for this one over here. This box over here is a mixture of, I've got some red marble peppers. I didn't, wasn't able to fit those over in the middle section and I really wanted to try those. And what's the other one over here? An, an Illy F1, a couple Illy F1. So I have a couple rows of herbs. These are baby, baby herbs right here. I have a pesto party basil. I have one parsley plant here. I have left room for the others because I bought this one at the store, but my other ones that I seeded had um, not done well once they started, and so I started more, and they're about ready to harden off, so I left room for those. I have a couple types of onions that I started from seed. I'm not sure how they'll do. They're very spindly. I think that's part of why I don't like starting onions from seed, but I have a couple Texas early grano and a couple... Utah yellows. 
I have some other basil here. Um, that's my normal Genovese basil and then some dark opal basil. I love dark opal basil just for the beauty of the plant and the color. I just planted this bed yesterday, so things are still looking a little eh. Um, let's see, Alyssa Craig, some more onions. Alyssa Craig onions and Walla Walla onions. They're, they're pretty spaced pretty far. Again, I started those from seeds, and I'm kind of just doing rows, kind of interplanting things. And we'll see how it does. Um, I have some more basil here. I have mammoth basil and lettuce leaf basil. I have left some empty space for some more. I have dill almost ready to put out here. So I left some empty space for that. Um, over here, so I have some beets, just a few that I'm trialing for the university. I have a couple of, um, this is a lettuce. This is Nevada Batvia lettuce, and I only planted three. It is supposed to be super, super great when it is hot, and I have yet to find one, no matter how many different varieties people tell me do well in the heat. I have not found one that does well in the heat. So I only planted three just to give it a chance. This did come recommended from someone who lives like in super hot desert. We'll see. I put a couple jigsaw peppers here. I was going to plant those out front just for the foliage, like in my flower bed. And I just didn't decide where to put them. And I thought I would just plug a few right here. They're low growing, so they shouldn't get, they shouldn't shade out the beets and lettuce. And I've got a marigold there. This bed I planted like a week ago, it is banana peppers and a couple marigolds. They're doing well. There's a tiny little pepper over here. A little bit small and stunted, but it's there. And then I put some other peppers over here along with the marigolds. So in here I have uh, candy apple sweet peppers and sweet sunrise pepper and a red picnic pepper. So these should be the little ones. Okay, and then what you couldn't see, that's where I had you just now. This bed I also planted yesterday with more peppers. This, uh, These are not opinions right here, which are the jalapeno flavor without the heat. A lesia pepper couple yet Leslie peppers and some more candy apple sweet peppers over there along with a California wonder hello and then here I plugged in a uh, nasturtium I like to put those near the chicken coop um, chicken fence hello chickens near the chicken fence so that I can toss those over because they like to eat them and then right here I have some bee balm that I let recede from last year I'm waiting for it to flower. I'm going to harvest some leaves and flowers, and then I'm going to pull that out and plant something else there. The garlic is doing well over there. I need to cut the scapes and make some um, compound butter. Look, that is, those are all leftover peppers there, y'all. Lots of peppers. Those I didn't even get um, potted up. They're still in cells, but they are hardened off. And then there's some herbs. So here, let's see, these are the, this is the herb bed, the Illy Peppers, Red Marvel, Empty Space, Lettuce Leaf Basil, and Mammoth Basil. These are all teeny tiny right now because they were not ever potted up. They were, I just plucked them in here to see because I wanted to get them in the ground. Um, onions, the Dark Opal Basil is not super adjusted we'll see some other basil some other onions some parsley I left open space and then this is the pesto party basil again baby had not been potted up these are all those hot peppers Kilimanjaro marigolds we've got Tabasco's Along here, jalapenos in the middle, sugar rush peach, these three are jalapenos, and the rest of this row are Anaheim's. This is that lettuce, some baby beets coming up there, if you can see them. There we go. 
um, jigsaw peppers. I don't have anything else in the middle of this. Kilimanjaro marigold over there. These are the banana peppers with the little baby. Little baby. And these are the other sweet peppers. Sweet sunrise peppers and the picnic peppers. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm going to leave you with a few shots of some other things on the homestead, both in the um, garden here and also on other parts of the property like berries and things like that.